Whether you are an experienced medical practitioner or you are a student just beginning their studies, the Model Med Sophie and Sophie's Mum Postpartum Hemorrhage Kit add-on will enable you to develop and enhance your core competencies required to manage childbirth. This add-on requires that you already own a Model Med Sophie and Sophie's Mum Birth Simulator. Please watch our video on preparation and maintenance before attempting a simulation. A postpartum hemorrhage is a life-threatening situation. The Model Med postpartum hemorrhage add-on can simulate a blood flow of one litre of blood per minute for two minutes. We recommend running this simulation in an easy-to-clean environment and over a plastic sheet or tray. The blood we use is non-toxic and washable. You should also wash all PPE after use. There may be mild staining on Sophie's mum's simulator after prolonged use. You will need two people to run this simulation, who we will call the mother and the obstetrician. This is called the block. Place the four bolts through the back four holes of the base. Fasten with four wing nuts. This will ensure the blood flows forward and doesn't pull inside Sophie's mum. Take the postpartum hemorrhage uterus. There is a high bleed point and a low bleed point, so you can simulate bleeding from different points inside the uterus. Place the uterus in the birth canal unlubricated. Make sure that the end of the uterus is at the opening of the vagina. Take the cradle and insert it to hold everything in position. You then fill the pump with two litres of blood. Attach the high or low bleed point tube. It's a tight fit, so use a small amount of lubrication as required. To get the correct level of flow, pump the handle 80 times. This will give a blood flow of one litre per minute for two minutes. To begin the simulation, the person acting as the mother will then press the trigger releasing the blood. The trigger can be pressed and released or locked into the open position. The midwife can then practice manoeuvres to alleviate the bleeding. Once you have finished your simulation, ensure you follow the correct procedure for cleaning and storage. This will require extra care, so please ensure you have warm water with detergent, lint-free towels and talcum powder ready prior to beginning the simulation. Ensure all parts used in the simulation are cleaned entirely of blood and lubrication. For more details, please refer to our preparation and maintenance video. Again, proper maintenance will ensure the longevity of the product. If you have any further questions, visit the Model Med website.